Cancer, what's up? What's good? <laughs> Let's just jump into your message. You have dirty offer here. Moving on. Or moving. Child protective services or child services. So, someone tried to offer you some shit or do some real file shit, I'm hearing. Real volatile toxic shit it costs you to fucking uproot your family and move because whatever they did towards your kids or towards you or whatever the threat was <laughs> it forced you to get the fuck on to get the fuck away to protect your kids whatever it is it was something very hot something that could have possibly had you in a situation to be taken from your kids you feel me i don't know who this person is but they're very dark to the point that you had to uproot your family to find some sort of peace from this person whoever you're dealing with cancer so don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for all of your love and support if you don't hear it now you hear it thank you um don't forget i keep it real raw and uncut and i keep it up if you don't like how it's being told guess where you can take your ass <laughs> Nice you be here. My name is not Ike. Yours is Tina. Remember that, baby. But I am curious to know who is in this dirty offer energy. What the fuck is up? Give me more energy on this dirty offer. I need to know. I need to know. Distance hori distant horizon. So again, this is somebody mad because you're fated to do something bigger. You have a divine purpose. This could be some... <laughs> bitter ex acting so fucking concerned cancer acting like they care so much about what's going on with the kids and what you got going on the whole time this motherfucker is just mad because you dropped him like a fucking hop cake there it go because you moved on and decided you know what i have something so much better that if i just get away from you i know doors will open bingo got they ass and somebody is really upset because you no longer want to deal with this person and their toxic ass energy this person is very dark i'm trying to tell you this person is very very dark it's a soul snatcher somebody who purposely tries to harvest energy they might not know exactly what they're doing but that's what they're doing they like to get you riled up i'm hearing they like to get you all riled up pumped up they like to really just get you in your feelings really in a raging ass moment and they like to sit back and just so why are you doing all that you know like real narcissistic tactics you feel me why are you so angry no one is getting angry with you i just asked a simple question this is somebody that likes to play these mind games you had to put some sort of distance between you and this person in order to protect your kids from this toxicity. And now that you have done so, guess what this goofy motherfucker want to do? Call Child Protective Services because you're taking my kids. I don't know what you're doing. You're the evil one. I hope you got your receipts because you don't need your receipts, Cancer. I ain't going to lie to you. This motherfucker is, is I'm, I'm getting, they like to play these games. You know what you dealing with somebody that likes to play dirty. Might even have like a dirty cop on their team. I'm hearing like might have somebody that's dirty inside of the CPS services. You know, somebody that that somebody that um works. You know what I'm saying? Works in this area. I get this. Works in this area. What is this? Oh, somebody that works in that field that is willing to risk their job, their livelihood to help this person out. So this could be this person's new lover that works inside of the child protective services or something along those lines or whatever. Whoever you caught this motherfucker with because you obviously caught this motherfucker with somebody else. So whoever they're dealing with has some sort of connection with CPS, the hospitals, something along those lines where they can report this negative shit works at your child's school kids school you, your children's school think think of that type of shit somebody who is in close proximity of your kids who can lie <laughs> you feel me who thinks they know but they don't know and they're letting this person fuck their mind up because they're running with a false narrative and the whole time the nasty person who who's really the fucked up individual is the one that they're laying right next to so they got a third party coming after you and not even realizing this third party is not even realized that the devil is right next to you it ain't it ain't cancer the collective it's not cancer so what is the problem spirit 
What is the problem? What is the problem? Too many. Could be dealing with a Gemini. The magician card fell out in reverse. What is the problem? It's it's a lot of problems, huh? <laughs> Three of Cups. Again, you got tired of this person overindulging. This person could po possibly party a lot, talk a lot of shit, do a lot of things that are toxic, um, low vibrational, <laughs> low functioning, <laughs> since we're getting into it. Things that just aren't high vibes. They like to party. They like to smoke. They like to overindulge. They like to have third parties. They like to fuck around. Again, something that you're not about, especially if you're raising a kid in this house with this person who you had to separate yourself from, who you probably took some sort of vow in front of God to what forever and hold whatever the words is to death do you part, baby. And this motherfucker definitely just lied to God, lied on their vows somebody that didn't take their vows serious somebody who thought that marriage was a game or something or some sort of control or power they wasn't looking at it as a partnership someone was looking at it as i officially got you now you locked in with me you're my possession you get what i'm saying like capricorn energy uh devil energy so you could be dealing with a capricorn so someone is definitely was look someone was definitely looking at you more of a possession than a person so when you broke free you broke free see again they couldn't lie no more someone thought that they could have this have their cake and eat it too but things are being revealed to you and the more and more that you find guidance and insight and gain this clarity the more and more you see how this person is just very low vibrational very toxic very into themselves, very into other people, third parties, and they're not for you or your family, your kids. You ready? So things have been illuminated. Pisces energy, you're no longer sitting in the, the fucking dark about who this person is. You see them for who they are. They can't hide behind a facade anymore. And the root of this is always having third fucking parties. This person constantly have these outside experiences <laughs> outside of your relationship regardless if you're married in a, a long term uh, what do you call it common common law marriage or you just been locked in for five four years with this person whatever the relationship is if you all were living as one trying to raise your kids you feel me <laughs> they stepped out that's it and that's all so this person is just really bitter <laughs> because you won't keep letting them betray you. <laughs> so, oh, oh. What? What? Y'all just say that right. I did. Somebody is mad because you won't keep the stuff in their shit. You got to change that diaper, don't you? You wouldn't want to smell it all day. If your child shit it, did whatever they did in the diaper, had diarrhea, whatever the fuck. You wouldn't want to smell it all day. You would change it, right? This is the same thing. Somebody wanted you to take their shit constantly and thought that you would never change it. So you all could have recently just had like a fresh baby or something like that. I don't even know why this diaper analogy just came out of no fucking where. But whatever this is, it gave you the strength to walk the fuck away. Leo in it. <laughs> If I'm lying, I'm fucking flying. Cause I ain't flying up here. <laughs> oh my God. Again. It's like, I don't have time for this sneaky ass energy. Motherfuckers don't got time for this. <laughs> What's the cause of this? King of Swords in reverse. You all could be dealing with a Gemini. I've said this, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Air sign energy is here. Definitely heavy with the water sign as well. So you have Leo here. You have Pisces here. You have air sign energy heavy on the board. Again, this person is upset because you, you can't be controlled. That's what this is about. You can't be controlled or manipulated. No matter all the tactics that they took against you to try to control the situation, it won't work. 
again, had this person moved out of love, they would have got more from you. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but again, because this person moving in the dark, this is what broke up this happy home. Or, well, if it ever once was happy, because this person wore very, a lot of masks. If it ever once was. So again, you could be finding the strength to move on, the courage, the boldness to take action, to take yourself out of this situation, to move on to common waters. And this person is mad because you're finding your independence. I'm, I'm, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Because those red flags are flagging. <laughs> and you are now aligning yourself with the light. Do you feel me? There's no more illusions, baby. <laughs> they can't trap you. They can't put you in a mental entrapment anymore. You cannot be bound to this person's lies. You cannot unsee what you didn't saw. <laughs> it's mind-blowing when people really try to get you to take their shit. And when you finally step up and be like, you know what? I ain't going to argue with you. I'm going to just remove myself from the situation. And I feel like you tried to do this as um, as quiet and peaceful as you as you could. But this person just kept trying to get a, a rabble out of you. Or like just get you ramped up or get you all, you know, feisty, mad and in your feelings. You know, cancer, they wanted you to be deep in your emotions and mad and act out. But because you already had tapped out, see, this person don't realize you, you had already checked out mentally. So once, once you check out mentally, nothing that a motherfucker can do or say will ever get you to that point. You feel me? Because you're already tired. You're already up to here with the bullshit and the antics. So you become numb to their tactics and what this person is failing to realize how numb you are. 12, 12. It just is what it is. You have already created your exit plan. <laughs> Why this person is still sitting up here mad and bitter and why won't you just fuck with me or deal with me and you ain't gonna get no better? You already checked out and you know it's better. <sighs> the Child Protective Services is a last resort to stop you, to delay you. Let's clarify that. Give me more on this child protective service. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something negative, neglect or abuse. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Whoever this king of cups you're dealing with, this king of swords energy, um, a cuss baby. So that you could be dealing with a cancer Gemini cuss or a Gemini cancer cuss um, person or you are the cusp. <laughs> Whatever they're trying to do, they're trying to stop you from moving on. This person is just you, just, just you, an emotional wreck. With this King of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, whatever they can do to delay any opportunities that come towards you, anything that's in good news. Again, they are going to spit shit on it. Do you feel me? And they're willing to risk their own kids in the process. That's a dangerous motherfucker. I hate to tell you, that's very dangerous. Someone who will put their kids in harm's way to prove a point to you, Cancer. To stop you from being able to provide because they can't get out their fucking feelings. It's the truth. What's the outcome for this situation? That's too damn many, but I guess the spirit said take them. Releasing the fucking burdens because, again, you have already checked out with this Ten of Wands. Justice is here. They already know that it's some foul shit going on because those kids are well taken care of, 1433. So whoever is going to reach out to you and contact you, they're not going to get very far in their discovery. I'm telling you, this information will be coming towards you very fast and abrupt. Whatever is going on is about to happen very, very soon. 12-12 here. It's, what is it? Central time? Again, 
this information is going to come but guess what they it holds no bearing the allegations that this person has put on you it holds no fucking weight because you're gonna keep fucking winning you're gonna keep fucking shining and nothing that they do is going to come against you again no weapons formed against you will prosper and this person is mad as hell because you're boldly taking action to get the fuck away from this person and you don't have any remorse about it and that's what hurts the most You got a personal transition going. This ain't shit or nothing to do with this person you're dealing with. This is all about cancer, getting a mind, body, and spirit, right? You feel me? So I hope this message give you insight and clarity. I hope you gained a whole new perspective. I hope it gave you the courage to continue to move on. Do you feel me? To break free of karmic ties and bonds. Thank you for all of your love and support. Namaste.